Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create horizontal scrollable gallery design in Power Apps using a slider control. As you can see, I have created a gallery with uh, this uh, scroll bar. And if I scroll through this, we'll have a scrollable horizontal gallery inside our apps. And as you can also see, there is a view and edit button. If I scroll through the data, you will see these button remain intact. Also, there will be a column headings, which will scroll through the content of the columns. So how we can design this kind of structure in Power Apps, let's just talk about this. We'll go to the Power Apps. I've already created a screen with the header left and footer placeholder. And but the main area where we will be creating is this main container area. As you can see, this is the container based layout uh, we have. You can insert that layout from this new screen and choose this sidebar layout and then can, uh, you know, play a little bit with the margin and padding of that one and insert your component. So nevertheless, we're going to create uh, the design in our this main container too. And first thing that I'm going to do is I'll insert a container here. And inside this container, I will insert one more container, which we will use for our column headings purpose. I'll just keep a height to like 60 here. Okay, so we have the height of 60. And here I'm going to insert some text table inside these containers. I'll insert four text label. I'm inserting one by one to have the good naming convention. So I have label 16 to label 19. Label 16 by default, I will set the X position of this one is to zero. And uh, a width I'm gonna set like 400 just for example right now and height height i will put later with all these control or maybe i can just go here and can set the y position of all these to zero and uh, height of all these controls to 60 again so that seems uh, uh, good to me and i'll go into level 16 then go to level 17 and what I'm going to set for the level 17 is there is a width property which I will set as label 16 dot width. Copy this, go to the X position of this. And here what I'm going to set is label 16 dot width plus label 16 dot X position. So you will see it is placed properly next to it and similar for the label 18 i'll go to the x position and this time i'm going to set uh, at like uh, 17 dot width plus 17 dot x and what i'm going to set is width is equal to label 17 dot width similar goes for label 19 first i will set the width of this one change this to 18 copy this set the x position say it uh, 18 dot width and 18 dot x position so now you will see that we have uh, created a container 9 which is our header container here which will be holding all the headings and now i'll go back to the container 8 and inside this one i'm going to insert a blank vertical gallery once i insert this i'll connect this to my sharepoint list this is my financial data list and i will just uh, set the y position of this one as the custom noise one as 60 i know it and 
page to screen i'll uh, leave a little bit space for the scroll bar here and uh, now inside this gallery what i will do is i will insert a container inside this gallery container and now as you can see i have a container inside the gallery what i will do is i will uh, just fit this to the screen first from here and maybe i can exposition is already zero for this one maybe this and height i'm gonna set this one to uh, maybe just 35 okay and uh, for gallery i will uh, set the template size which is this customized one as of now just remove this i will set this to 40 only okay and uh, that's good for us you will see we have uh, this uh, you know shadow control box for the gallery design so this is what we want and inside these uh, you know shadow container we can put our data so i'll go inside the container and from here we can add some text label okay so these text label will be will have to insert four text label here so here the label 20 what i'm going to set is label 20 uh first i will just go here to the, all these one and what i'm going to set is their height first will be like 35 it is already 35 and then i'm going to set their y positions which is to zero the height seems like some challenge here so it is 35 that's fine and for this label 20 what i'm going to set first is the x position of this label 20 we will match this with the x positions of label 16 and also the width of this label 20 will be equal to this so we'll do the one-to-one -one mapping of all these labels to uh, all the labels we have into the gallery so that our uh, column heading which is these one and also uh, the gallery control will move in sync whenever we are scrolling through the data so to do that in the label 20 i'll go to the uh, x position of this one and i will set this to label 16 dot x copy this and uh, width will be label 16 dot width all right So now as you can see we have uh, all these things aligned and if i go to the any of the control here in the header and if i shrink this down you will see the rest of the gallery control uh, width is getting shrinked as well so this is what we are looking for so this is done now what we have to do is inside our this uh, main container 2 we're gonna insert a container again just uh, remember that uh, i'm not inserting inside this container but i'm inserting inside this container too so we have a new container and as you can see the fill portion for this one is uh, one out of two so i'll just set it like uh, 0 0.1 and for this container top container i will set it like 1.9 so it will automatically divide this that's fine and i will go to the height property of this one this is minimum height of 100 i will just set it to 60 that's there and now inside this container what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert a slider the slider control just shift this to a little bit here and uh, what you have to do is now go to this your container 
and to the or maybe you can go from here as well because basically we want to go to the first control of your uh, heading and it is uh, everything is based on this one particularly so what i'm going to do is the x position of this one it is zero as of now and what i'm going to do is zero minus our this slider is slider two so i will say slider two dot value so what it will do is whenever we are scrolling through our this slider the x positions will change according to that so zero is by default so if we are doing slider two dot value so if it is increasing it will minus from zero that value and it scroll through the left okay and for this uh, slider two i'm going to set default is like zero max value i will set like uh, or maybe 40 i will set okay and now we'll check this how it's work so you see it's scrolling but it's scrolling with a little slow speed i'll go in my control here in the exposition slider two dot value i'll multiply this 10 time okay and now if i run you will see it is scrolling perfectly fine so you can uh, actually uh, increase or uh, decrease the speed according to your requirement that's the one thing and uh, the second thing that uh, is the handle size i'm going to set this to like 15 what it will do is it will change this size of your slider and what we will do now is in the our gallery so we have uh, the y position as uh, 60 and size is this one template size we have kept like uh, 40 or maybe if i keep this 35 we'll see let's look good so we're going to add one more container inside this one container inside my this gallery container and the purpose of adding that is i'll just zoom in a little bit or maybe i can just set uh, it to 1200 okay the exposition of this one it goes here what i'm gonna do is i'm adding this little bit here inside this container i'm gonna insert two uh icon that will be one will be added icon this one as you can see and another will be view icon all right so this view icon is there and i'm gonna set the width of this one is to 20 and height as well 20 and also for the second one i'm gonna set the same 20 and height is equal to 20. all right and uh, the x position of this one i can set to 20 again so maybe 25 or i'll just put 30. that's look perfect to me and uh, the first one the exposition of this one i will set to 5 so it will be a little bit here so now if i run this you will see this nice looking scrollable gallery i have and it is on the top right and we have this nice looking structure ready here and what i'm going to do next is as you can see it's a little bit uh, overlapping with our uh, this calorie design so what i can do is i can just a little bit reduce this okay little here and also reduce the second container that i have created so reduce this little bit and shift it to the left and that's a look for effect now to me we have a vertical scroll as well as these icons 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the gallery part and in the gallery we are going to set the field value so i'll go to the text property and i will say this item because we have connected this gallery to our sharepoint list i will select account okay we have all the accounts name and in the second one i'm going to set uh, the text property as this item dot uh, maybe I'll select a business unit okay and in the third one I'm going to select the text property as this item dot uh, I'll select currency and in the fourth one I'm going to select the text property as uh, this item dot may be created by dot name dot display name okay display name all right this is it we have and if we run this you will see that we have all the name coming perfectly but there is one thing when we are scrolling through this uh, you know view and edit button is not coming on top of it in this case i have not set the color property of this one i will set this to white we'll see now but oh, this looks perfect now okay so sometime you have to keep uh, these little thing in mind and it's work perfectly fine. So in case you don't like this uh, border radius or shadow, you can overcome that as well by going here to this container and remove this drop shadow to none. And you will see you have a nice simplistic design in front of you that way. And now one thing we have to do is about the heading part. So we know that this is the account column. So we can go here and can say manually say like account name. Okay, copy this. Here we know that it's a business unit. So we go to the text property of this one and say it's Okay, it's unite have set it and this is uh, like currency, I can set it and this one is created by user and if I run this now you will see that all of your columns and this uh, gallery controls are moving in sync with your all the data that you have and you can scroll through all your data you will get it correctly and whenever you click on this view and edit button you can set up the edit and view form of this particular gallery field so that's all from this uh, customized scrollable gallery I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.